In this video, we will discuss vortex rings and how they are made. What is a vortex? In potential flow, a vortex is one of several elementary flows. These elementary, or potential flows, are convenient in modeling various fluid dynamic problems because they can be described using Laplace's equation, which has been studied extensively and has many known solutions. A vortex is a flow with no radial velocity component. The tangential component varies with distance from the center. For example, a large bathtub with a small drain can be approximated using a vortex as a model. For more information about potential flow theory, see the link below. If we take vortices and arrange them in a ring, the resultant shape is a toroid, or mathematical donut. This is called a toroidal vortex, or vortex ring. If we cut a vortex ring down the middle, we find two vortices that spin in opposite directions. A vortex on one side of the ring will act on the vortex on the other side of the ring, pushing it along. The opposing vortices are close enough that they push on each other, propelling themselves forward. This effect happens through the entire ring, so a vortex ring travels much farther than might be expected. An easy way to make a vortex ring is to quickly push a little bit of air through a circular hole. If there were no friction, the air would travel straight out of the hole, but because there is friction, rotation occurs, forming a vortex. Because the hole is circular, this creates a vortex ring. For more information on vortex formation, see the link below. Here are a few vortex rings from a vortex cannon we created. We made ours out of a small bucket with a one and a half inch hole cut on the end. We stretched a balloon over the open end of the bucket and filled it with fog from a fog machine. You can see the vortex rings that form as we tap on or poke the balloon.